Hey guys, I have created a skin tones color palette for you. So I'm going to pack it as a native affinity swatch panel for you to download. So you can put it directly in your software, whatever you use Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo or Publisher, it should work just fine. And I recommend you to just watch this whole video first before you just follow the link in the description to download the palette. So you will know how I was able to turn those colors from my artboard into the proper swatches, all right? So let's get started. As you can see, I've been busy. I already create multiple shapes and fill them with different colors. And of course, you could use that as the reference for your colors without even making this as your swatches. So how we can use it this way? Whenever you make a new shape, so let's say I make a new shape somewhere here outside my artboard. Let's go with the heart shape. All right. Now I can use a color picker tool that is on the left here and pick a color from the palette this way. By the way, did you know there's also a quick color picker tool over here next to the color selection on the right side? This one you need to click and hold. So I click and hold and then you drag this to a new color. This will show first as the preview. Click on that little circle. Done. Very handy. Done. So we can use this mini color picker as well. It will not change the active tool from the tool panel. So if you are in the middle of something, take a look. Right now I, I got pen tool selected. I can still use this mini color picker and the pen tool is still selected. A little walk for tip. All right, so we could use that like this. I even going to export this as PNG so we can just put the picture in your program. By the way, that's the way if you are not affinity user, but you want to use my palette in Procreate or Fresco, just drag and drop the picture and you can make a palette out of that. But if you are native affinity user, you got affinity designer, we can actually create our own palette. So you will need to open swatches here. It should be next to your colors. If you cannot see swatches, check your windows here. Check that your swatches are turned on. You got this check mark. If not, turn, click on it. It will appear around this area. All right. As you can see, there are many predetermined palettes here. We don't want to touch that. So we want to create our own new palette. Let me just scale down my window. I got some stuff appearing. Oh, here it is. All right. So I click here and we can add global color, register color. But first, before we can do that, we need to make a new palette for ourselves. So we, we can do for application one, just for this document or the system one. So let's go with the application one. All right. Now we can name it. So we got skin tones. Okay. And we got a blank palette, nothing here. If I click on the first shape, take a look, I can add a current field to this palette. It appears here. Click on the second shape, third, and this way you can very quickly build your palette based on the fill color from vector shapes. The advantage of this approach as that is really easy to share this kind of palette. That's what I'm going to do today. So after I add all of those colors, I'm going to export that and you will be able to download that file and import into your program straight away. So you don't need to click like I'm just clicking again and again. All right. So we click everything. We do it one by one manually. So it's really clear process. And now we got our skin tone palette here. Now you can simply draw a shape and you can select color from the palette and that's it. How can we now save it for the future or for somebody else? You make, you got nice color. You want to share that. You can click here again and we can export this palette. In your case, after you download mine, you just click import. I going to export mine. 
so I can share that with you. The link will be in the description. It's a Gumroad, so you can put $0 as the price to get it for free, or you can include a small tip if you like. Thank you for today, and I will see you next time. Bye.